Okay, this is this is what I this is the breakfast of champions. I, I'm not really saying I'm a champion or anything, but it's it's, it's little chocolate donuts, little chocolate donuts. Uh, if you've ever seen the uh, John Belushi um, SNL, uh, this is some. I I wish SNL would like open up all of their video content on YouTube to being accessible to embeds because then I could offer it on my site and then I could mix it with other content and it could really be, it would permit people to talk about SNL and to share that culture, that part of our culture with a younger audience that's probably going to discover it but probably not going to own it, okay? And um, I don't know where SNL sets but I think that, um, I'm trying to remember what his name is, but uh, the guy who, who started SNL. But um, I like SNL. I like what they did for comedy. I, I tend to look at com comedians as basically just paid philosophers. That's all they are. Um, they're philosophers that spend a lot of time trying to think of a way to point out irony in the world and then make something that people can laugh at. And at time, I've made some comical th statements, but I mean, I'm not really interested in making money off of comedy. I'd rather just, you know, come up with a comical thing to say while I'm at work and then throw it out there and maybe somebody makes some money off of it. That's the way I've always been about things is I just, I, I don't want to be like at the top. I just want to maybe in, in influence, inspire maybe. Uh, so this is me inspiring a little bit how I eat my breakfast and uh, this is oatmeal and you'll probably notice it's not mashy and it's not runny what I do with oatmeal is I'll take and I'll throw twice two packets in and then I'll only throw in one packet of water so the oatmeal that uses like the, um, Cro the like uh, Kroger brand oatmeal or like um, any of the other brands of oatmeal they put water inside you, you put your oatmeal into the bowl and then you, the, you can use the packet to um, to measure the water and so you use one packet of water with two packets of oatmeal and you put it in the you put it in the microwave oven for three minutes and it gets really dry but it it doesn't get completely dry it stays firm and it's kind of like a, um, just, it's so firm, I could pick it up, and it's gelatinous, like that. And it's like a big oatmeal cookie in a way. And um, it's, and it can go cold, and I, I like it cold. I like it cold and firm and gelatinous like this. And I like to be able to just, just take a bit of it and then put it in my mouth. Uh, goody. Let me see if I can flip the camera around. It's still recording. Look at that. I just flipped the camera around. So that's um, the... Uh, so there we go. That's really cool that you can record on the iPad and it will retain the... Uh, uh, it'll it'll help you you can still use both cameras I just tried it for the first time I don't usually read computer manuals uh, that, that for the longest time as being a computer type I tend to just imagine that things should exist and then I go and try to do them and if they work then yay if they don't work then I go well I don't know if I'll use this technology all that much and I tend to run with the technologies that I that tend to exhibit the features that I kind of imagine um, as I'm using them and that's the I think that's the best approach to dealing with technology is is you try to go as you try to go places with it that you would want to go if you can't go there with it then you get out of the car and you and you try some other vehicle you know um, With cars, you can go anywhere in the world, um, but you need GPS these days in order to find places. And um, and when we get augmented reality, we have glasses, 
then we uh, that will show where the places are and the monuments are in our world and then maybe offer extra entertainment on top of uh, being able to drive around cross country rather than looking at flat fields of nothing on the on the horizon there could be stuff out there there could be sculpture that somebody's put out there or there could be somebody talking on the horizon um, and we could be watching a movie as we're looking at the road um, there could be all sorts of things going on there you don't have to look off the road in order to be entertained and so AR glasses offers that but there's things that need to be done like I talked on uh, putting a device in your car that permits you to um, that keeps you from getting disoriented whenever your car turns and your whole world in your AR glass start to turn um, it'll probably I mean the thing is, is actually that's not so much of a problem for AR glasses. It's more of a problem for VR because in VR you're actually trying to go different places. So with AR glasses, you probably won't need such devices because your perspective is changing because you see everything outside of yourself. But if you ever try to experience something extra, then it becomes a, a problem. Um, Is that true? Yeah, because you look outside the window, but um, you're looking at something that, it, you're looking at stuff with respect to, the, to your car's movements in the, in the window that's outside. Um, the problem is, is when you're in VR and you can't see the world outside, and the world outside turns, but the world inside doesn't want to turn, uh, you don't want the world inside to turn, that's when you need a separate um, accelerometer with a, com a, a compass sitting on um, sitting somewhere in the car stationary, uh, possibly attached to the car to guarantee that the VR headset is not going to get is not it, it, you're not going to get disoriented because of the car's uh, change in position. Uh, if you use a VR headset inside of an airplane, you'd have the same problem. So VR headsets they need to fix this problem. And one way of doing that is to use the cameras on the outside. Um, another way is to put a device that has every has a three DOF in it, you know, something that has three DOF on it, and uh, with Bluetooth, put that device uh, connected up to like an Oculus Go, and then you can use an Oculus Go inside of an airplane without the airplane's change in direction affecting your perspective of the world inside of the VR headset which is going to present a problem if you've ever used an Oculus Go in an airplane or if you've ever used it on a in a car. So anyhow, that would be the next thing that uh, Mr. Mark, um, whatever the heck his name is, that uh, that uh, bought up Oculus needs to think about. Um, I, I I like Jeff Bezos, but I that Mark, whatever the heck, I keep forgetting his name. <sighs> I, you know... I'm sorry, I just his name escapes me. I remember the first one. Oh, Z Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, okay. You know, if you had Jeff Bezos in a room with Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg would be on the floor choking from the lack of oxygen. You know, um, and and Jeff Bezos would be in a spacesuit, and he would say, uh, "Welcome, Mark. Welcome to Mars." You know. So that's the, that's the thing, and so oatmeal. That's how you fix it. The, this is the best form of energy uh, and on the planet, um, next to the lithium-ion batteries. If you if you're working and you're thinking, okay, I could use some some chocolate donuts or something sugary. No, oatmeal. And if you can't t handle it mushy, like I can't handle it mushy. Um, do it this way make it firm and it's like a it's like an oatmeal cookie it's much easier to take in and it it takes a long time to digest it doesn't spike your blood sugar it doesn't make you hungry and you can go for four or five hours on oatmeal um, without eating anything else pretty much all day I mean you could really you could pretty much live on oatmeal and all I ever hear is people living on um, 
living on ramen noodles. Ramen noodles are worse. They're terrible. If you if you're in college and you've got you're living on a shoestring budget, um, if oatmeal is more costly, spring for it. Don't don't live off of ramen noodles because ramen noodles are going to ruin you. The the oatmeal is your friend, so you need to be eating oatmeal. And it's really this is good for diabetics. This is good for everybody. Oatmeal also lowers your cholesterol, um, and it tastes good. It's it's this has got this has got raisins and apples and and it's got some sugar in it, but it's not like it's going to kill me or anything. And it would if you didn't drink something with it, because this thing can gag in your mouth a little bit. But I'm at the point where I got enough saliva in my mouth right now that I could handle it. But that's how you do it. Two packets of oatmeal, one packet of water, three minutes in the microwave, and you're done. And, uh, you, and you don't have to eat it right then. You wait two hours, and then somebody notices it's in the microwave. Oven. You take it out, you eat it, and and you can go another five hours without having lunch. And once you do have lunch, you eat something good, you know. But they say you should have your biggest meal in the morning. So if that's the case, then just have four bowls of oatmeal done this way, and then you'll be okay for the rest of the day.